Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Josh Quinlan versus Danny Barlow. Josh Quinlan, 6 and 1, 3 1 and 1 in his last five fights, plus 155 underdog, 31 years old, 6 foot tall with a 72 inch reach, fighting Danny Barlow, who's 7 and 0, minus 180 favorite from Tennessee, or fighting out of Tennessee, 28 years old, 6 2 with an 80 inch reach, 2 inches taller, 8 inch reach reach advantage wild you 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 talk about josh quinlan before his last fight and i was like okay this prospect looks really great but his last loss against trey waters uh josh quinlan looked lost out there i'm pretty sure trey waters was a short uh, notice fight so maybe that had something to do with it pretty sure that's how that worked but either way he really really looked lost and that concerns me when you're fighting a guy that's two inches taller and has an eight-inch reach advantage. Eight-inch reach. You know, Josh Quinlan definitely has the power. He's not a terrible fighter at all. Six finishes, obviously, all of his wins are by finish. Lost the decision to Cherry Waters. Beat Logan Urban, but it was overturned to a no contest because of marijuana, which who gives a shit, honestly. Um, you know, again, it has some good power. But he's fighting Danny Barlow. And I think watching this guy on the Contender Series, five finishes out of seven wins, he's just, there's something about his composure that I really, really like. You know, was submitted as an amateur uh, heel hook. But um, there's just something about his demeanor. Again, all of his finishes have been in the first round. He has one decision, uh, two decisions, sorry, two decisions. So you don't really know how he's going to do as the fight goes on. So that, that could make it a little bit tricky. And his UFC debut, you know. I like Danny Barlow in this one. His composure, his length. I, I think I think he's able to pick apart Josh Quinlan. I don't necessarily know if he gets a finish. But I do think he... Uh, I, I think Danny Barlow wins this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. See you on the next one. Peace.